What's cracking everybody? Wurt the Ferk here from Minecraftism.net bringing you another little mode that I'm going to do with my videos and that is tutorial on complete beginners. So we're going to create ourselves a brand new world and no world is ever the same. If we don't like the world, we're going to start another one. Why? Because sometimes the worlds that it gives you just you no, know, unless you're looking for a decent amount of fun straight into the game. See, I'm happy with this. I have some a wood straight away, so we'll we'll keep playing with this game. But as we get in, you'll see we have water, ice, snow. And you won't usually see snow and ice, but sometimes you will. But uh, we're going to start breaking away at items. Now, I'm going to quickly give you an example of what most people do wrong when they get into Minecraft. As you can hear here, I'm clicking, but I'm not actually doing much damage to the tree. But if I hold down left click, as you can see, the little bar there moves up, and I have that as a mod. It's got nothing to do with the default texture pack. So please do not ask why you do not have that. But I'm going to break three pieces of wood, and I can use a piece of wood to break the wood at the same rate of speed. But we're going to take only three. And we're going to get these three pieces of wood. Ooh, we're going to take that sapling too, because it's always good to replant trees. You can only plant trees in dirt, and I don't think I'm going to be... Oh, yes I am. Now, what we're going... Oh, I did that by right-clicking on the ground as well, guys. So... What we're going to do is we're going to take these pieces of wood and we're going to put them into our crafting area. We're actually going to put one. So we right click once and as you can see this stack now that I have in my hand has dropped to two and we have one in here. We also have four wooden planks. Now by clicking this once we take the four wooden planks from that area and this piece of wood disappears. We can no longer get that piece of wood back. Bye bye piece of wood. Gone forever. So now we're just going to quickly make ourselves a crafting table and by doing that we give ourselves five extra blocks to craft with which means we can make bigger tools so we're just going to simply put our four pieces of wooden planks into there and we create our crafting table again these disappear and we can't get them back and what we're going to do is put that into our hotbar now if we don't put it into our hotbar we can't do anything with it but once it's in this little row down here we can simply scroll our mouse to it or we can press 1 to 9. 1 through to 9 allow us to change items and we simply place that on the ground. Now when we open up, as you can see, we have 9 crafting areas now. So we're going to simply piece, put our place put our plates, place our pieces of wood in this first little box here. You can place them anywhere you want. And they will do it as long as you don't put them in different areas. You need them in one block and one block only. And you'll see the four here. We see when I click once that it goes down to one piece of wood. I have four in my hand and there's four here. If I click again, I now have eight in my hand and there's none here. So we're going to divide that into an even group. We can simply go put them on the stack and then right click and that will divide them into two even groups. If there happens to be a stack of three, it'll go into two and a one. If there's five, it'll be two and three, so on and so forth. But we're also going to make ourselves some sticks. Now, sticks are the most important thing in this game, in my opinion. So we're going to create eight of those by those two planks of wood. I'll leave a description in the my uh, in the video here of the Minecraft wiki where you guys can go and get all your crafting needs. But we're just going to quickly create ourselves a an axe, a wooden axe. Now you'll notice here I've got all these items here, but I've got two here. When I take that wooden axe, all the single items disappear, and I can't get them back. And this turns down to a single items as there were two. So you can accidentally put a few in there and it doesn't matter as long as you don't click this multiple times you won't make multiple items. But uh, wow I just sounded like that Christopher Walken then when I said items. <laughs> I'm just going to switch to the axe here and I'm going to give you a quick example of using the right tools for the right job for efficiency purposes. So as we move over to here, I'm just going to hit this piece of tree with my hand. We see how slowly it moves and how the slowly the cracks appear. But we're also going to hit it with our axe. Now watch how quickly it moves. That's all about the efficiency level. If we have another tool like a shovel, like a wooden shovel or a wooden pickaxe, then it's going to do the same thing as hitting it with a hand. It won't work as quick as an axe. So now we have some more pieces of wood. We're going to go back to our crafting table and get ourselves more wooden planks by just clicking like so. And then we're going to create ourselves a shovel. 
Now, a shovel is used for dirt and sand, and we can even use it on raw snow to make ice... ice... what, what are they called? Snowballs! That's what they're called. But we're also going to create ourselves a wooden pickaxe. Again, watch the Minecraft wiki on that one. Watch the items disappear. No, we can't get them back, and we can't join items together. That just doesn't work. So now what we're going to do is, I'll show you, there we go, there's an ice, there's a snowball which you can throw and you can throw them at animals and whatnot. and I almost hit that randomly then. No, I didn't get anywhere near it actually. So what we're going to do is, we're going to show you quickly, as you can see here, with the status bar moving up quite slow, I'm using a pickaxe, which you'd think would be stronger than a shovel, but there you go with the shovel. That's how quick it actually works. So now here you see we have stone. Now watch how slow everything works on the stone it just doesn't want to go look at how slow that is you'll be here forever however if we use the right tool for the right job we have efficiency and wow look how quickly that pickaxe gets through that stone so we're going to take these three pieces of stone and go back to our crafting table again this is why it's great to stay nice and close nice and close and we're going to create a stone pickaxe now. So instead of placing three pieces of wood across the top to make our wooden pickaxe, we will place those, replace those with cobblestone to make our stone pickaxe. So we'll take this stone pickaxe and we'll head back down and we'll show you the clear difference. We saw how quickly that was working with that, but when we take the stone pickaxe to it, how much quicker it actually works. I'll give you another quick example soon, but first we're going to build ourselves a, st build ourselves a furnace so we only need eight pieces of stone we accidentally got nine but that doesn't matter and we're going to just place these around the outside again refer to the minecraft wiki take the furnace place it down into our hot bar and place that on the ground now we have the furnace we're going to get some more wood so we just have a tree here we only need two pieces of wood there we go and we're going to create ourselves charcoal charcoal is needed to create ourselves torches so that we can uh, see at night. So we have two pieces of wood there and we'll put all our planks down here. Now I do believe we'll only actually need two. So when you put one down here it actually disappears straight in and creates the burning source or the burning fuel. So this item down here is, a, this is the smelting area for the furnace. So we have burnt the raw wood and turned that into charcoal. Now when we do a little bit of heebie jeebie here I'll explain I'll explain it more with the with the stoves soon as well I'll do that in another video watch for the links to start appearing when I do do those but when we put coal on top of a stick we create torches one piece of coal and one stick create four torches as I had two pieces of coal I was able to create eight torches and we can use those down in our cavern area so as we build further in, we play it, and as you can see, it's now lit up a bit more. So we can go in here, and we'll go and get some more cobble to make ourselves a stone shovel. So we shall get that up like that, like so, and we need now need to get a fair bit of dirt. We can either choose to go and get dirt or cobble, but I like dirt just so... Oh, look at this. We already have this working out to be a nice level of a house here. I like to make my houses three high. What we're doing here is just getting dirt to build ourselves some quick walls so we can block ourselves in before it gets dark and the monsters come. Because if the monsters come and the monsters get you, then you will die. And that's no fun. And if you pl I don't actually get monsters. Oh, I accidentally clicked on the furnace then. I don't get monsters when I'm playing this game because I'm in peaceful mode just to show you guys the general gist of things but as you can see here I'm just going three wide and three high or a bit further than three wide but you get the idea Oop, I placed that in the wrong spot just hit that there or I should have hit that with my shovel but uh, we need some more dirt so we'll just quickly grab some more dirt and as you can see you can actually, I should have said this as well, you can leave your items in here. See, I can use a torch as a burning source now. You can't actually burn wood. I can burn cobble, however. You can no longer use torches as a burning source, it so appears. Would you need more? Wow. You used to be able to use torches, but no longer can. I did not know that. I know you can use sticks. So we're going to place that in there, and we're going to disappear out of there, and that will keep cooking. So that's always good to make 
if you want to make uh, stone or gold or items with iron and whatnot, because you actually need to smelt everything down from its raw material to make the items, which I'll also include in later videos, so don't don't digress too badly now on not understanding what I mean. I will explain it further. So as we slowly put our roof on and we're about to put the finishing touches on our first home, I probably should have counted how many pieces of dirt I need. I'll put that in the description. That way you just head out, get what you need and get back before dark. Because when it gets dark, that's when the, that's when the, the creepy things come out. So if I could make it back up onto here, that'd be good. And there we go, we're just going to completely block ourselves in, and we're going to place a torch up here, and we may have one area just up there so we can see any sunlight as it comes out. Now what we're also going to do is we're going to go a little further into the ground here, we're going to leave ourselves a step up to this area, because sometimes the animals, the, the zombies when they come out at night, can sense you in your sort of area where you are, and if you do have creepers and are on hard mode, they will just explode anyway. So as I box myself in this little hole and survive my first night in Minecraft, I thank you for watching and hope I gave you a real good explanation on how things work and the general way, like the, the smashing of items, how they take longer doing it without the right tool, and if I use the right tool for the right job, then I can create different things, whereas if I go to smash that with it, it disappears, but if I use a shovel, it's fine, and how quickly things get through. Oh, one thing I didn't quickly explain, the sound, watch how quick that moves up on that, but if I use the, the stone one, bang, it's gone, two hits, bang! But there we go, so you guys stay well, stay safe, and I'll be back soon to give you more on each specific item. So we'll be talking about shovels in general and I'll be showing you the difference between uh, stone shovels, wooden shovels, iron shovels, diamond shovels, gold shovels, you name it. We'll move right through each item in the game slowly and surely and until we can virtually get a little demonstration on every single item. So you guys stay well, stay safe. And thank you for watching, and I really hope I've given you guys a good insight into how to play Minecraft for the first time. So we just watch up here, and when the stars disappear and everything goes to light, we usually wait a bit longer. But also remember to make yourself a sword. And bugger, I don't have enough. Oh yes I do, I can make myself... There we go, a stone sword, because when you come out in the morning, if you have creeps outside you will need to defend yourself and a sword is the quickest way oh, crap and a sword is the quickest way to destroy the mobs and the bad guys so once again I think for the third time this video stay well stay safe and I'll see you next time uh, bye bye